Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Sussex Saturday on Tuesday, or what I like to call Talk Tuesday. I am VS Speaks Royally. I hope you all are doing well. You're having a good week. Um, you know, I survived yesterday. Many of y'all might know that yesterday was tax day here in the U.S. So I had to redo, like, review my taxes again because it had us owing about four figures which me and my husband were like oh no can't be so <laughs> let's just say you know when you're doing taxes you can't be interrupted and then you really need to know where did I leave off again anyway it's all good now <laughs> all filed all accepted all is good all right but can we, you know, I'll put it out in the atmosphere. Maybe one day here in the U.S., we won't have to do this annual thing called file taxes. Okay. That's my rant. Let me get into what I got to get into. Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you hit the thumbs up as you were coming in. Um, hello to all those who may be hanging out at the clouds, space stations, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I get it. No problem. Um, let me do disclaimer. We'll get into it. You know, there's a few items. I have to laugh because I saw a couple of y'all mentioning trash. <laughs> trash time. I'm like, ooh, my goodness, already. All right, so here we go. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All right, just want to highlight again, Invictus Games is a coming next year. Their social media account is sharing and um, they're just talking, they highlighted volunteers. So, you know, you too could be highlighted if you become a volunteer. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to share some of the pictures from that. Notice the clear pictures of those that are authorized to take them at events. Okay, I'm just, I had to be a little bad. All right. So clap your hands and make some noise. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood. Just, just go with me, y'all. Just go with me. All right. So Santa Bali, we know that there was a charity event this past weekend. Um, Friday and there was there's been a lot of coverage so we also know there was an announcement made that Netflix is going to have two new series coming cooking with Megan and then one that's on professional polo Ooh. well the one with cooking with Megan is more it's going to have like her entertainment and you know a whole lot of yummy stuff happening so some of the pictures that I saw out on the app formerly known as that have been shared, et cetera, shows the, the production that's probably going behind, that's happening behind the scenes for the professional polo um, series. So, you know, here's Harry and, and Nacho. Calm, calm yourself, Church Nelly, because I know you've seen these pictures probably a million times. Um, just hanging out, very low key, but ooh. We have some um, production going on here, do we not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very happy. I can't wait to see their names in the credit. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, here are the, the brother and sister-in-laws, you know, greeting each other. So um, shows a very close friendship. And that's very sweet indeed given you know some people had some comments some smart comments <laughs> and i'm not even talking to rangers some squatties um one said oh that looks like the shirt that harry had on <laughs> the night before i was like y'all cut it out but you know i thought it was cute but we've seen megan wear the baggy look before so she slayed us enough with the, the dress the ginger dress so you know she could go easy going on us Here's some pictures. This is a young woman that she was Nacho's daughter, okay, that she was walking with. Um, Nacho shared some pictures on his Instagram, which I then dropped to the channel members. So I wanted to just sh share them here and I put them out on the community tab. 
since these were a little bit different and ones that we hadn't seen, this one I just zoomed in so that Church and Ellie could get her fill. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> These notifications. Okay. So this was a very interesting setup. I've not seen anything like this, <laughs> but looked fantastic. Um, it was a packed room, of course, for the dinner. And then, you know, here's a picture that we didn't know we wanted to see, but we wanted to see it. Yes, from um, their, the dinner and the table and, you know, Nacho, of course, his wife and them sitting and talking to Harry and Megan. And I just, just blew it up a little bit. Um, some additional pictures is an entire group. Now, the back row, so Harry, Megan, the woman next to Megan, and then the next, the woman next to that woman. Um, yeah, they're coming up in, the Rangers were making a big deal over a situation that really wasn't necessary. So, but we'll get into the whole thing. If you see where they are, they are center of the picture. Some don't realize how things should be set up, but okay, we're going to, we're just going to kind of move along and then I'll get to trash time quicker. All right. This is out on Sussex.com. Definitely check it out. Uh -huh. um, and they give a little bit more information. Now, I wish I had a cash register sound effect because I probably could find one, but we'll just go with this one. So cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Um, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex raised $1 million for charity, sent the Bale Royal Salute Polo Challenge in Palm Beach. So impact, positive impact. Okay. Um, yes, because that will go a long way and it's just beautiful to see. So in addition to all of us being excited and trying, and many did buy the dress, it sold out. The maker of the dress, Ginger Dress, was so excited that they posted about it. <laughs> Impact. So the haters that like to say it's irrelevant or she's paying for this cup. No, she's not paying for it because nobody would have went out and asked the maker to go out and say this. I mean, that doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, come on. You see someone, the most searched name individual is wearing a, one of your designs and you're not going to say, yo, look over this, look at this. Because if someone that's not in the squad and adjacent to it didn't realize it or was checking for Megan, they wouldn't have known, but this is an even bigger audience. Rule. So they they put um, Megan the Duchess of Sussex just glowing in our ginger dress. Yes, she was. We put it on pre-order, so they're letting everyone know. <laughs> come back and order more. Y'all sold out. Come back and order more. So um, so you can order online. We will cut. You know this week. So hopefully you've gone out, you've checked whatever. So they gave you the website. Um, couldn't be more grateful to the Duchess for her support. I bet you couldn't. You started seeing those numbers go from, if you had, I'm just giving round numbers. Say you had 200 in stock of both colors and suddenly within like a matter of moments, it went to zero. You would be like, what is going on? Yeah. Impact, positive impact. Okay. So ARO had American Riviera Orchard, Megan's, lifestyle brand, um, had a soft launch. I saw these pictures out on the app formerly known as, and mm -hmm, that's how you do it. You send to friends. You remember like with, um, ooh, Clever Blend, and there's a certain woman who had a talk show at one point, is well known for that talk show and her gazillionaire status, et cetera. I'm not saying her name because some people don't like her and I don't need those crazy trolls coming over here. But anyway, Oprah. <laughs> and she was sent the Clever Blend and went on her IG and showed herself making it and tried it and boom, here we go. So yes, 
Yes. And yes. Now would I we're gonna go broke, y'all. I'm just gonna say. All right. So in Squatty Corner, I want to welcome Thelma Christmas to channel membership. Um I didn't have your notification, of course, had cleared out by the time I was able to see it. And then your name showed up in channel membership area. And I'm like, <gasps> so welcome to channel membership. And I'm going to sound this off for you. New channel member. New channel member. New channel member. So welcome, welcome, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support that you have chosen to do on a, a steady monthly basis. I do appreciate it. I have something percolating, um, hopefully around the time that I hit a certain milestone for channel members. Yours should be nice. All right. So there is channel merch, even trash time merch for those that might be interested. And there's t-shirts and, you know, mugs, et cetera, that you can check out and look nightbot drops a link and i know church nelly has dropped a link so in pre-trash time her royal highness sinky has um wanted to let folks know <laughs> the toxic british media just to let them know squatties are not playing okay so there was the video that was running and it shows an elephant mom and baby going into a pool of water and eventually, you know, crocodile, which equals the toxic British media and the rangers reared their head and the elephant mum stomped it enough that it finally got the hell out of the water. So yes, as, as Her Royal Highness Princess Sinky says, G-T-F-O-O-H, okay. Mm. Just leave Harry and Meghan alone, you crazies. That's all I'm going to say. And one got just karma. I'm sure she's got 5,000 other accounts, but one got just karma. Anyway, let me keep on going through here. So this is just thoughts. Royalists fantasize about Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, being forced to curtsy to William and Kate, question mark, on their coronation day. And the... And this assuages their pain when they see Harry and Meghan thriving. When asked what happens when Meghan doesn't bend, bow, or curtsy, royalists get real quiet. Now, Minnie had a lot to say in that she didn't attend the other one. Why would you think she would attend that one? So that's the other thought that's out there. So I'm just just putting that out there. They do want to see that, but I doubt it's going to happen. Uh, and the tears that will ensue. So this one had me falling out and I just had to share. Because <laughs> it speaks volumes and we all know why, the dragging, the shade, all of that. This picture of Meghan Markle through a bush is of better quality than anything we've seen of Kate Middleton since Christmas. Ooh, my God. Okay. Which is true. I'm not sure who would be upset, but it is true. It is, it is, it is, it is very true. So this one is leading into trash time. Um, we'll just put a little little pin in it as I'm getting ready to yeah, jump in the comments really quickly. So the Rangers and the Markles are fighting with the mirror. OMG. And then it just says squad. <laughs> Let's mind our business now. I didn't. I did go look for some stuff, and I was just like, "Oh my, hilarious, hilarious!" So you'll see in trash time because that's where those folks deservedly belong. So let me jump in the comments and look real quickly and see what we have out here. Whew. Okay, Marshall says Oprah has had the power of product endorsement. Megan is the second person I've seen to have that power too. I'm proud they are pow two powerful black women of influence who all people hold in value. Yes, some do, some do not. You know how they feel about us having a little moolah and power and some are scared to death by it. Okay, mm -hmm. Gwen, Megan looks a hell of a lot younger than Clueless Kate. <laughs> You want me to really be bad? I'm just going to move on. We've known that. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, Wendy Church, no, exactly. The UK mad they weren't invited to the cookout. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, Church Nelly, my goodness. You were a little, you, just tell us how you really feel. Woo, Wendy, Megan's no longer working royal. She can wear whatever the F she wants to hell with those the fathers. <laughs> wow. I don't know what sparked that one. I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, yeah, that, that's coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that was what some were saying, and they didn't even realize who the woman was and that she should have been center to the picture as she, whew, anything Megan does, they complain and find fault with when they then look like fools themselves. So, whew, okay. Um, Rhonda, you're talking about with the uh, carrots and other stuff burnt now, but it looks fascinating. I don't know if that was something that was served. You know, people be doing different things. Maybe it's a Palm Beach thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> as if you, Church Nelly's like, Lord, look at Nacho. As if you haven't seen him over the last, what, four days? Yeah, you've seen plenty of him, you know. Mm -hmm. Whew, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay. Let me just look at some of the comments. So I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to uh, say hello to Sis Elise. Hello to Sis Hilda, if you're listening or if you pop in. And of course, I'm not looking at the chat at this very second. So um, but hey, Sis Elise, thank you for popping in and dropping the thumbs up and a comment. And that wasn't the one that I needed to move out of the way. I wanted to, Lord, I hope the system has not refreshed where I can't get to the comment. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Cause it was Diane's and I wanted to highlight it. So now I need to scroll up and back down. I saw it, I saw it. And she was talking about the overflow. Um, I think it was Diane. Let me see. Hang with me for a minute, y'all. You know, once you, I had it highlighted and then I, I unstarred it. And of course it goes right back into where, and I can't, oh, here it is, here it is. Diane said, say it loud for the rats in the overflow section. We are Sussex blessed. Yes. Okay. I'm going to start again because that might be the, the last comment of the day. I don't know yet. All right, let me come on over. Let me come on down. Let me look. Just people greeting. Yes, bravo for the million dollars for Centibale. Awesome. You know, they, yes. Okay, we're just going to keep on moving because I'm going to be misbehaving. I don't want to. Um, who's, uh, okay, I'm not sure who got Church Nelly. Oh, there you go. Wendy was saying UK media bitching. Um, the dress was inappropriate attire. Jealous anyone? Dress sold out. Yes. It wasn't just a dress. It was her shoes. But, you know, when it involves Megan, they all get their um, undergarments in a bunch and not in a good way. That turns them on. Okay. Hello, the Bud Files. How are you? Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Let me get into trash time. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Because I'm about to, yeah, I'm just about to just try to show out right there. But all right, so we're there anyway, but let's get on into it officially. It's your favorite time. Trash time. Trash time. Trash time. All right, so trash time. As I mentioned, as I was finishing up the pre-trash little section, that it had been, you know, reported that the Markles were fighting with mm -hmm, a tabloid, which, you know, oh, well, so swell. May karma come to both of them because both parties deserve each other and whatever may come. So seems the tabloids are now dragging the Markle, y'all really want to do that? Because I, I think they're going to wind up telling who was really telling them to do this stuff. So 
I just think it's hilarious. And I was just like, ooh, let me go out and look and see. And yeah, he, he was being dragged just a little bit. Because please don't act like y'all didn't know about um, Markle Jr.'s blackface video. And then, you know, all the other ish that was said and done. Not just him, his father, and, you know, his sister. Mm. They they don't want to claim Megan, so they don't get to call her that, which is kind of odd, you know. Mm -hmm. Y'all were never never knew y'all existed all the years she was on. Mm. A certain television show that has seen a um, a resurgence since it's no longer on air, but it hit Netflix. But when she was on Suits and all that, and married to a producer at the time, no, not a word about y'all. Didn't see nothing about you. But, oh, lo and behold, word gets out that she is dating Prince Harry. And suddenly y'all fall out the sky or or dig yourselves out of the holes y'all were in. Hmm. Anyway, have fun, y'all. Battle it out. May the best slug win. Hmm. All right, so... Speaking of, it's called, like, I'm calling it, I guess, Polo Gate, Polo Attire Gate. So, you know, we knew when we saw that picture of Megan slaying us in that dress, the haters were not going to be pleased. So they just tried to find fault. We were like, she's in America. She's an American. She can wear what she wants to wear. That's really what it boils down to. But Someone had to put this, you know. This is how you support your husband at the polo. And then they give the person, please know appropriate footwear for the polo field. Now, if I take my banner down, you can see she's in flats. The absent lady's in flats. But there are many other pictures that were dropped in comment of this one that showed the absent lady in heels walking with her her husband, you know, across the field as they do in front of the step and repeat and all that other stuff. And so um, this argument didn't last long because hmm. squatties were like, yeah, what about this one? What about this one? And what about general? I'm not sure what Megan wears bothers y'all. I mean, yeah, she looks gorgeous, but that really shouldn't be of any concern. Like, we're not checking for these stupid asses, these folks over there in the UK. First of all, absent lady and sway sway, they ain't checking for each other, but nevertheless, just my opinion. The one might not be able to check on nothing, but anyway, moving on. Whew. So, Santa Bali, again, <laughs> this picture here. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, um, just remember that picture, the dress in this picture here. Just remember this dress in the picture because it, yeah, it sparked, it sparked some, um, yeah, it sparked something. So whew. of course, you had this other one saying, of course she would be there. She's the Princess of Wales. Megan is just Harry's wife. Nothing to do with Sintabali. This is the mindset of people. Like, she shouldn't be there. She's just Harry's wife, as if his wife wouldn't be there to support his event. It's okay for dimwit, absent lady to be there because she's the Princess of Wales. She only got that title, over, what, just about two years ago? Before that, what was the excuse? Oh, okay. It's, you know, let's, let's, call, let's call the shit the shit, because you're all full of it with these crazy accusations. But anyway, that, blue, that dress right there, mm -hmm, it kind of sparked a little bit of this. <laughs> I fell out when I saw this, so. Little House on the Prairie, yeah, because that's where her gear, now this one especially, and she thought she could give fashion tips to somebody. Lord, all right. Continuing on, not just what she wears and what she has on her feet. 
that causes an issue. It's the whole, in the video you see Megan is, is saying to the woman that is the CEO of the charity to stand on the left of her so that she would be center of the picture. And people had a fit going in. There's so many with this whole, she's demanding that she move, blah, 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 la, la, la. This idiot here who truly was, because it's a blue check, was trying to get the, you know, engagement. Screenshot, move on, keep it going. Anyway, so Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are so ridiculous. Us Americans, us Americans, don't have health care. We have student loan debt. We don't, we do, we do not play polo. Ooh, there's, there's a couple of black players that might, okay. There is a whole American team. I guess they didn't realize, but okay. We don't ride pageant ponies to their deaths. Harry and Meghan are a joke, only to have security so they don't have to hear. They played at a polo club in Palm Beach. Okay. And you think you're the smartest one. Blue check, dumbass, paying somebody $5 a month or whatever the heck it is so you can have a blue check next to your name. Anyway, now this one got me because this is where the video is showing Megan just saying, you know, step over here. This is where you should be. Everyone else read it a little differently, the haters. So this one is saying, hey, black Sussex squatties, Megan doesn't want you anywhere near her man. Look at her bossing around another black woman. Oh, and did you know she never even identified as black? Well, yeah. This idiot <laughs> was catching heat. Now, I just took screenshots and kept it pushing because it's like blue check, just pause. Take the screenshot, go to your own timeline if you're on that app, and cuss them the F out. Let them come to you, because guess who doesn't get the engagement? Of course, you know, if they put something false out, which I hope this was tagged, you know, got a community alert, and that way they wouldn't get paid, but nevertheless. So Megan doesn't want you anywhere near her man. Megan is not scared or not none of us when it comes down to Harry. She really isn't. <laughs> Woo, Lord of mercy. I can't show, I, I was going to show you a comment <laughs> that a squatty put, Lord have mercy is all I can say. It was something I can envision <laughs> Church Nelly. Let's just say the person was saying something about give Harry back his, his balls. And someone said they're nice and deep inside of, and we'll just leave it at that. Okay. See, Squatty wasn't playing. The Squatty, yeah. We had a different crew on <laughs> over the weekend, and they were, whoa. All right. So um, this is just another part where you can see they're holding the trophy, and then she scooted around it. But all of us, most of us have seen the video. It was harmless, and Megan was trying to say, you know, just stand to the left of me. And then when you see the pictures, this picture here, among many others that we have, this picture here. So there's one with just the top row, and you see those top five, middle five people. And this is everybody, but she's center of the picture. The Lord, Lord. Art. Megan boss and somebody. But anyway, trolls, trolls will be trolls. Mm -hmm. So work from home royal. He, I, I guess he's the work from home. Now, he did say one of his life goals is peace in the Middle East. Did he not? I don't know how he's going to accomplish that working from home, but I'm sure he'll figure something out. He also better figure out um, this little tidbit because um, mm -hmm. They're coming, they're coming for him. Um, I guess the houses truly are in a mini war. Mm -hmm. Pun intended. Okay. So in addition to seeing that headline out there, this was from an article that um, now I have a few things to say about this. So 
Whew. Prince William can't step in for King Charles on his Samoa tour later this year due to one key reason a source has revealed. You know how we feel about sources, but when they leak in on each other, cheer, we just sit back and enjoy. So um, the monarch is said to be determined to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa on October 21st. Now, despite medical advice, cautioning against extensive travel during his battle with cancer, the 75 year old is believed to be determined to make the trip. According to sources, <laughs> William will be unable to attend on his behalf due to the Princess of Wales own battle with cancer. So now that's your excuse for not working at all. But yet you were able to meet a dinner before we knew what was going on with Tom Cruise. Ooh, you had your picture taken and everything. And you had a nice little conversation with a woman that no one has identified, to my knowledge, yet. Fixing your bow tie and everything. That's a guilty thing to me. But OK, because, you know, your valet made sure that it wasn't too tight around your neck. Unfortunately, Oops, sorry. Okay, so my thing is, if you are too sick to work in your own country, why the F are you getting on a plane to fly to some other country um, to meet with the heads of the Commonwealth government? Hmm. Are you gonna go there and beg that they take your son as the next head? Should you? Um, kick the bucket, because your mom did that for you, KC3. QE2 asked the heads to accept you as her replacement. So is that what you're intending to do? Or are you going to go there and be like, get someone else? <laughs> I have a feeling it's get someone else. I just need to understand. So Sway Sway's been at pubs. He's been here and there. But he can't go on a trip because of her treatments for cancer that was present or she had cancer. Hmm. Y'all are telling on yourselves, get your BS together. But why would he, you know, we know he doesn't care for mask wearing because he didn't wear one when he was at the Commonwealth service. Or was that Easter? No, that was Easter when he sat separate from the family, right? Couldn't be near the family, but you're gonna be in a, a room with other folks. You can't Zoom call in. Hmm. It just would be hard for me to believe that you will, despite medical advice, you're gonna get on a plane. Mm -hmm fly to another country, pick up some bug probably along the way when you come back because, you know, y'all weren't that careful when you had restrictions for a certain bug over there anyway. Inti mm. mm -hmm. way. So sway sway. Oh, and speaking of, you know, that that football game that y'all were telling me about and him there allegedly with a third child, well, a second child that's not his. Mm -hmm. All the reports that were I was seeing on the app formerly known as this, that was not Rose's son. Um, mm -hmm. It was another page, another young kid whose parent is at Aristo and, you know, served as a page at the Kanye Nation. But I just wanted to say that. But however, let's remember for... Um, our fave, preschool rules and bar rules are the same. You pee your pants, you go home, okay? Sway, sway. Just remember this. <laughs> mm hmm Because you seem to like your time at the pubs. And you be rocking and swaying when you're giving out awards and dropping them and everything else. But, you know, swillio. Mm hmm mm. Now, I have to give Special K. <laughs> I saw this on the, her timeline, and I cracked up laughing. This is what the future balcony will look like. 
for any other big, you know, maybe for um, Troop in the Color. At the rate that they're going, this is this is what the balcony will look like. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a few more trolls had to get into this. So the one that's below, I'll just say she's below. She, never mind. Okay. So she's saying, even the haters will have to admit Harry and Meghan look insane here to think they were ours and we let them go. They caught a lot of heat because as you will see coming up, they were just looking for a little, a little engagement here and there and everywhere. And then this idiot above, they're extremely annoying, but you can't help it but look at them. And frankly, the royal family could really do with some extra senior royals at the moment. Sad neither side could make it work. The Markle Sparkle is a real thing, y'all. Hmm. Both of y'all are haters, crazy and all, but make it work. She's still being abused by the media over there, but she's supposed to just suck it up and make it work? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, 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 sure. Because see, the individual in the screenshot that they're replying to um, had this to say. So um, let me come over here. Oof, I had a whole lot of comments. We see the date on this, April 14th. And then you see who she's article she shared. I hate to say it. Er, I always try to be fair. Bullshit. In my views, but it's true. Megan doesn't know the meaning of friendship. She ghosts and cuts friends and family off. It's a terrible trait. Those that betray her should be cut off. A friend doesn't betray one. Um, family, true family, looks out for other family. They don't betray them, as we've seen with, you know, the donor and his two eldest spawn. Okay, that's the best way to put them. Um, and speaking of spawn, <laughs> I'm sure she has 5,000 other accounts, but someone had shared this. Oh, Karma came along. I'm sure she's probably back up and running. I have not checked, but it's just nice to know, at least for a little while, your account suspended needs to be terminated permanently, but, you know, violating rules. Yes, she knows nothing about that, but, you know, as far as she will claim, I I, I haven't broke anything. Oh, I just know. Mm -hmm. Wheel on, spawn, wheel on. Mm -hmm. So, whew, all right, let me, I saw the screenshot and I wanted to, let me get my banner out the way. I wanted to share it. Firstly, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are the equivalent of the royal family's A-list celebrities. We're talking blockbuster level star quality. Their departure from, quote, the firm was a bit like if Marvel decided, hmm, you know what? Let's just sideline Iron Man and Captain America. The couple has a global reach that extends farther than the Queen's corgis could ever dream of running. The royal family essentially gave up their primetime players by asking him to kindly step aside. Now, they didn't ask them kindly to step aside. They ran them out of the fucking country. Okay. That's basically what happened. They ran them out of the country. So for all of you, the math is not mathing, especially the ones that are upset over Megan wearing heels, which she usually does when she is dressed up. Um, and she can wear whatever the F she wants to wear when she wants to wear it. She's a free woman in the United States of America. All right. She doesn't have to be hold to the, you know, century old looking garb that you had the absent lady dressing in. All right. Anyway, the lady in black's going to come for all the crazy haters and, you know, mm -hmm, them there over there with their mouthpieces and sitting on top of the world, so to speak. But, you know, our middle fingers, at least mine, is always in the upright position when it comes to them. Mm. 
Now I had this screensaver come up, this picture, and I thought it was beautiful. And it is Botswana. And I wanted to share Botswana, Desert and Delta African. Let me see what I had. I had the name here, African Safari. So you can understand, okay, why Harry, so fond of mm -hmm, Botswana. And I thought this is so beautiful. That sunset is just whew, gorgeous. Anyway, that'll brighten up us a little bit for, you know, I go and jump into these comments. Let me just, let me, let me look through the comments. There was a, over a hundred. <laughs> Y'all are busy. Um, I'm going to pick a spot. You know how I do. I see Connie. Connie Bobber has dropped some love on me. So I have to acknowledge that. Let me scroll on up a little bit. I'm going to pick a spot and then work my way down. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, this comment jumped out at me. So I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm going to start with Lottie's comment. Mm -hmm. Megan already told that MF <laughs> to kindly take his finger out of her face. <laughs> yeah. As if she's going to go over there for their, if either one of them sees that event because the way things are looking oh, oh, oh i don't know it's kind of interesting very 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 interesting all right connie Bomber, thank you for the super sticker i so 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 appreciate it look maybe be turned to you a thousand times over um this is for you you're making it rain 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 down on me okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so 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 appreciate it all right let me come up um <laughs> a lot of that comment got me all right let me see um, I don't know if I'm above it or below it, but here we go. Minerva says, I've been a fan of Oprah forever. She talks truth to power and walks the walk. Yes, there's there's some that have a different opinion, but, you know, everybody to each his or her own. I'm grateful for her being in their lives because her friendship led to TP and TP providing the freedom flight. All that other stuff it doesn't have anything to do with, you know, Harry and Meghan. That people seem to dislike her for so whatever. Tear, Meghan's jam distributions got more publicity than whatever's going on in the UK. Too. <laughs> Impact, relevance, and we all want some. <laughs> mm -hmm. We all want some. Yes. Get into those stores. What? Yes, that would be awesome. Ooh. Oh, Joyce, Nacho, I'm just saying. <laughs> You're going to have Church Nelly fighting you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Janine, just think what they can do with that money. Yes. Sintimbale. Yes. Um, hmm. It's going to go, we know, um, the children, uh, the children's children at this point. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's going to good, 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 good use. That's for sure. I just realized I have not had lunch yet. Oh, my goodness. All right. Whew. All right. All right. Uh, let me go down. Let me go down a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Um, hello, hello, hello to anyone who has joined while I, you know, was going through trash time. Hi, 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 hi. Yes, Church Nelly, he did. A, he did. I remember seeing this way back. Um, yeah, it's just, isn't it something that the tabloids knew all this, but they put them forward to drag Megan. But, you know, now that that has fallen on um, Def's ear, 
now they're trying to make, you know, flip the flip the script, as some of us would say, of a certain age. <laughs> Gwen, that disgusting bastard and the other two clan. Ooh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are really saying how you feel. That's it. Get it out. Get it out. Um, woo, Joseph, clout chasing one one from Megan's half brother. There you go. Because again, none of us, you know, suddenly just falls out the sky. We were like, who is this? And why are you, if you're the half brother, like, why are you saying these crazy off the wall and mocking her and doing it with blackface? Obviously, they saw her as black. Although some will claim that she never, she's never um, said that she is black when we have video of her on the No Hate campaign, as well as, you know, her tweet from back in the day when someone tried to say the same thing and Megan responded back directly and they were like, oh, yeah, silence. Plus, when she's done other interviews, she has said about checking boxes. It's when you're biracial and there's more than one box. Yeah. Um, let me see. <laughs> Woo. Wendy, what's up with Baldy hiding at home not to face questions from reporters about wife and fake videos and fake photos? That part. I, I believe he's swaying a little too hard these days, so therefore um, they probably can't get him up and dressed and it's probably a hot mess. A hot, hot mess. I mean, because I don't think he has a conscience for all the stuff that he's been behind. Allegedly, I'll put that out there but um we know he hasn't called off he hasn't called off his dogs of a mouthpiece you know all the different tabloids and stuff so he he gets that you know that's his badge of honor too karma is a bee i tell you mm -hmm. <laughs> Rhonda, they knew the markles were gutter rats that's why they use them Bing, bing, bing. Apparently, they're no longer useful, so they'll see how the media really feels about them, and I'm here for it. Me, too. Don't feel sorry for you. When I saw that on the app, that they're fighting, and it was hilarious the way the squad, they put it. So, you know, others are like, share, so we, so we can laugh, you know. I said, let me go out and do a little Google search and see. I said, hey, gosh, look at this. Yeah. Don't feel bad for him at all. That's what you get. That's what you get. Um, let me see. Um, Diane says, <laughs> dumpster fire Tommy already knew that family owed him. Put him in front of a camera so he can talk about that more, including who suggested he fake the heart attack. Sound familiar? Only now, Big C. Woo! Sure. Yes, darling. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, even then, and we still do, we're like, so you thought that would cause the entire wedding? That's a production to be canceled. Dai's father, as sick as he was, they propped that man at the top of those steps when she came up, because, you know, the train had to be seen on that gown. That's the only thing that I loved about Diana's gown. I'll say it. I probably have said it before. But she came up, hooked her arm in his, and he made it down the aisle. That was, he was, I want to say he had a stroke. But that man was there to walk his daughter down the aisle. Now, he, too bad he didn't take the cane and kind of tap his future son-in-law a little bit, but neither here nor there. Karma's coming back for him right now. Mm. Tear says, Megan will always wear whatever she wants, so bug off. There you go. <laughs> Church Nelly's like, these people are insane. They really are. They really are. Worrying about the shoes. Oh, wearing heels. She's worn heels before on the polo. I guess, I don't know, but it's when the other does it, it's, it's fine. Oh, look at her. Oh. It's always the other ring. But yet you all want to claim you all aren't racist. Oof. Anyway. Whew. All right. 
Woo! See, that's yes, they are. They're they're the Rangers are losers. They are. Um, T Mac. So to support your husband, you should wear appropriate footwear. <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, but what they're getting to is, you know, not that there haven't been times when her dress absent lady's dress hasn't blown up when she's shown her arse to the world because photographers were taking pictures as they're walking. So I, I think it's, yeah, the footwear, which is laughable in itself. You're upset that she had on heels? Okay, whatever. Um, and then, you know, the dress, that ginger dress. <laughs> Church and Ellie Laurel Ingalls would never wear Kate's dresses. Woo, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Rhonda. That is one pathetic picture. She can't look any more homely. Uh, I'm just saying. I don't know. They They have this whole thing on how one should... You know, kiss the cheek, and that's good. You remember that's how that that was when we knew there was trouble with, you know, Di and Charles too, because then it started being cheek action, cheek, cheek, cheek action. I'm sure she wanted him to kiss her behind, but she couldn't say that because Diana was too much of a lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gwen. <laughs> I didn't do it, so I can't tell you. Whew, my God. I'm just saying, it sparked. You know, Squaw has a way of shutting things down. You want to come for our favor? We go, woo. Mm. Lottie, whenever Kate comes back out of hiding, she should be wearing Megan's dress. Oh, my goodness, no. You think she, oh, she would be wearing Megan's dress. No, 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 no. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> Tier Megan showing up and supporting her husband looking fine as usual drives the derangers crazy. Yes. Yes. Because they either go with the whole, you know, he needs to, them holding hands drives them crazy. He needs to grow a pair. And, but as I told you, a squatty shut that all the way down. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was priceless. And in fact, I want to say on, and it might have been hidden. So let me look to see. If on the screenshot, you can actually see the response. Ugh, my banner. Let me see. Let me take my banner. It might not be, but there's a name that we all know, and maybe y'all did see it. Let me try to find this comment. Let me go up a little bit. I need to find this comment and just keep my cursor there. Ah, come on. Here we go. Oh, it's not there. Okay. So there was one that a squatty said, F you. And I believe it was on this one or it was on another one. And yes, it was, it was brilliant. <laughs> and she had been on um, a guest on the Sussex Squad podcast at one point in time. So she's an OG too. You, you know, the OGs don't play. Okay. I'm just going to say. Mm -hmm. Um... Marshar said it was a matter of time the Markles and Ragloids um, start at each other. Demons aren't loyal to each other. I'm waiting for Chuck to go because those rags are going to tear Willie up, especially if Cracked Crow is around. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Games of Thrones, 2024, 2025, whatever year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diane, just Harry, the husband was fine with his just Duchess wife being front center and not looking like Laura Ingalls. He didn't meet her looking like that. So why would she suddenly become dressing like that? That wasn't any of her aesthetic. He probably would have ran the other way. Then again, maybe not. We never know. But yeah, let her have come in with, see, um, the one that they rave over dressed just the opposite to get the attention and get the ring. And then once she got the ring, she started dressing like she's in the 1800s. But mm, neither here nor there, absent lady, one day. 
Can't even call you cosplay right now. Okay. Rhonda Gwen, I'm guessing there's no mirrors in her house. Mm, my gosh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then your reply to Lottie. Lottie, don't mean any harm. Hope she doesn't come back. Mm, my gosh. Yes. Um, <clears throat> see, see, it's saying the Rangers wish their cake can resurface, but damned what the F happened to her. They should leave M alone. Exactly. And go look for their fave. That's what they should do. T Mac girl, sit down. <laughs> you know, even the back, the picture from dinner showing Megan's back ears. That has driven them absolutely batty too. I didn't look for those specific comments. I just saw pictures and, you know, grabbed and ran. But yeah. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that Church Nelly picked up on that particular? <laughs> Woo, Harry is balls deep. Yes. If you saw it, uh, C Mac probably would have seen it because uh, I see her a lot out there on the. The app formerly known as but her rules. <laughs> Woo! All righty then. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Wendy says, Stafford wife Kate, why does the UK media make her a role model? For who? Modern women have more in common with Megan because she works and has have a voice, not a doormat. Well, you're, you know, someone who has a lot of staff had nannies to take care of her babies. I mean, come on now. You are a mother of three, and you looked at a onesie as if, what is this? Because it was foreign to you. How is that possible? Ooh, okay. I've not had any, and I know what a onesie is. Ooh, okay. Or a jumper. They all probably call it a jumper. I don't know, since it's different names over in the UK for different things. Okay. Lorna says so, but no on... <laughs> No on rides, polo pregnant pony. What? Each rider rides a pony for each chucker for seven minutes, 30 seconds. Then they change and get a fresh horse. Each rider has six to eight horses. And those horses, okay, I get you. Those horses are not cheap. Those, you know, magnificent breeding lines. Those horses are not cheap. Nor is the gear, but, you know, it is a rich man's. But there are Americans who play the sport. There's polo clubs all over this damn country. All right, let me go. <laughs> Stupid ass Chowdhury, however you say the name. The Kentucky Derby is the greatest horse race on earth. Millions of people go to Louisville. To see the ponies run first Saturday of May since 1875, even QE2 had been. So shut up. Well, real. You know, some Americans want to, to poke their chest out, and they really should tuck whatever they have. There's nobody, and tape it so it doesn't fall down by mistake. Diane says, today Billy is claiming to be fixing up another little-known extra cottage at Adeline. Mm, wonder who that's for. Ooh, sister wife. Okay. Or maybe him. I mean, I don't know. Have they cleaned up this? Let me, let me go on because that was... Mm, 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 mm. Lottie, Megan doesn't give F who stands next to Harry. She knows who would relax in the big... Harry Arms, yours. <laughs> it's just one minute she's putting the voodoo on him, and then the next minute she doesn't want anyone. Now, if she's put the voodoo on him, she doesn't have to worry about nobody else. Right. Pick a struggle, y'all crazies over there and everywhere else that want to be crazy. Um, Harry, uh, Megan's not worried about anyone. Harry fights sidewalks, so he also knows how men probably think because there's certain ones that he will react to more so. And then a lot of times he's joking because we've seen him joke even at, uh, what was it, Ascot? Yes. And the guy went to kiss her hand and he was, Harry was like, listen, <laughs> we all got that jest in there. Mm-hmm. 
Let me see. Uh, Tears says Lazy Willie is hiding behind fake Kate pretend ill health just not to work. When that hits the airwaves, yeah, it might go right to his son. Who knows? You know, all that energy that people were putting into, they didn't want Chuck, and they just wanted to skip and go right to William. Well, that might be the karma that he deserves, that they just skip him and go right to his son. Woo, can you imagine? Marsha, our church, no, yep. For anyone who's listening to Stupid, I'll give them the history lesson. <laughs> Maybe they'll, they would tell Stupid to shut up, Will. Because I think stupid is blue check. I would never. He would have to come on my timeline, but, you know. See, Swilio must bring back the racist princess of whatever. Woo, my goodness. Why is she still hiding, missing, or whatever? Because it's hard to believe the cancer shenanigan. Jesus. Next comment. <laughs> oh, Lorna's like, spell checker error. No one rides a pregnant pony. Oh, okay. I got you. At first I was like, huh? But when I read the rest of it, as you're explaining that they only ride the horses for this long, they get a fresh horse. Can you imagine? Yours. All right. Hello, Terry. It baffles me why William is not going with Charles, stricken with cancer, can go. This shows that William doesn't care for Commonwealth Samoa. He doesn't care for any other countries. I'm just saying. Um, I didn't feel that Chuck Chuck should have been given that um, privilege to be the head of the Commonwealth. And it was only out of the respect, I'll use that in air quotes, that the heads had for QE2 is why he has it now. But yeah, new. Yeah, it will be quite interesting to see if Chuck Chuck gets on that plane and goes over there. Um, I wonder if the con sort will travel with him because, you know, she does not like traveling like that unless by car for six hours because she's sitting and she can throw back a few. Just mm -hmm. maybe. Who knows? When Nikita's is too sick to do royal duties but healthy to do Photoshop photos, yeah, sell me the London Bridge. Okay. <laughs> Let me leave y'all alone. Um, yeah, I'm not, not, not. Mm, 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 mm. I saw your one comment, Church Nelly. Um, Cameron said, isn't Charles and Homela going to Australia in November? They haven't a clue what they are doing anymore. I don't know. But I guess he can um, hit Samoa and then, you know, feels he could go right to Aussie. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Mm. Seems they would have already... They would have already canceled the entire year of itinerary. You just don't know. You don't know how you're going to fare with treatments. I mean, you know, other people have to continue to work and don't have the luxury. But then others, you know, they can decide what they want to do. Hold on one second, y'all. Uh... Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, God. Let me see. Ooh, y'all like that door Mac thing. Let me see. Rhonda is saying, speak for yourself. Our side is working just fine. Y'all the one spiraling. Out of control. They really are out of control. Mm -hmm. I'm see. M cut who the F she wants to cut off the likes of PM and crazy over jealous siblings. PM never even was a, like that type of communication, please. We know better. The, the timeline of her tweet when she was in London for that presser event for suits and his, it doesn't, and how she met Harry and when she met Harry doesn't line up to PM. So he's a liar. We know he is. But if it makes him feel bigger, okay. Maybe that's why his wife is also complaining. 
Lottie, when Kate comes back, um, ah, she would have had a full body makeover. Sure, please. I don't know why y'all believe that. I almost caught, I almost, whew. <laughs> Let me see, Marshar. Um, hey, Sylvia, how are you? Marshar says, I cut toxic people out of my life too. That's what you do when you're not a doormat. Look at Kate. That's why she's a go Ooh, a gone girl. Hey, by the way, where's Kitty Puss? <laughs> Lorna. <laughs> oh, they, they get after Megan's feet too. You know, somebody was talking about the bellies, pregnant bellies. I was like, are we going through this again? I just, some things I just leave on the app formerly known as because it's just, it's too much. It's too much. These folks are bitter, bitter, bitter. Lorna says they are just pissed because Bunyan Kate cannot wear heels like Megan. Well, when you wear your heels between the pole and the mattress, Bunyan's happen, Lord. Hmm, is that why? No, let me stop. Okay. Diane says that beautiful Botswana picture looks like one from Harry's collection. He's an excellent photographer. It very well could be. It just happened to be one that, you know, when the, the on the computers, if you have random pictures when your computer locks, yeah, it just so happened to be. And I was like, oh, love it. Um, let me see something. People, Lord of mercy. If I try to eat, I can't eat. If, and this is like me eating here. Let me see. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Diane, I saw your comment about kissing <laughs> her royal behind. Y'all are a trip right now. Mm. Mm, Rhonda. I hope not. Hopefully, get, hopefully gets him sick each and every time he even thinks ill, and in, in a bad, a manner he shouldn't think about with his sister-in-law. Mm. Hello, Olive. How are you, Compton? Callie, how are you? All right. Let me see. Um, it's oh, it's over an hour. Let me get through these. I'm gonna scroll, miss a lot of comments, but you know, um, please don't be offended if I don't call out your name or anything like that. All right. Let me see. Oh, look at this. Nutty Doctor, how are you? Thank you for the super sticker. Let me see. Mm, you're saying hi, Squatties, Churchy, Gwen, Lydia, Fancy, Connie B, um, Elaine P, Diane H, etc. Baldy doesn't want to be king. His father already acknowledged it. Ooh, my goodness. Well, then he should have left a long time ago. It seems he's using that position because, you know, I'm just going to. He wouldn't do anything different than he's doing now, which is nothing. Okay, there, I got it out. All right, Nutty nutty Doctor, thank you. <laughs> For the super sticker. <laughs> I'm proud I'm not saying more than that. You're making it rain, 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 rain down on me. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me come over here. Do 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 do. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. I thought I accidentally unselected the star, the super comments. Um. Ooh, Elaine Swenson. I am not putting that up on the the big board, so to speak. Ew. I hope she's not because that that really would be a slap in the face. But my gosh, my gosh. Mamo, how are you? Whew, whew. All right. Let me see. Sylvia is saying Harry had his arm wrapped around Megan's back and pulled close to his side. Okay. Harry's not concerned. Harry wants her there. I mean, did y'all, if you saw their engagement interview, hello, there wasn't a mile between them. And then people... Really had nerve to complain about that. Oh my gosh, could she give them space? Um, when people like to be around each other and love, you know, you want to be next to them, feel them, touch them, all that stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Lorna 
says more shark. Huey too even owned a breeding horse farm in Kentucky. Oh, I bet she didn't pay taxes, did she? Because she had to be making some money. Mm, interesting. Uh, Jenny's saying we have the Melbourne Cup, which is run the first Tuesday. Ooh, okay. Oh, we do have a big event coming up, you know, May 1st. Is it May 1st? Well, it's probably going to be May 6th because it's the first Monday. Y'all know, first Monday in May. Mm -hmm. It's a certain event that takes place in New York City. All right. I doubt if our faves are going to be there, but usually some of their friends are. So I'm just saying, let's get ready. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Scrolling through. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I know that word working years. Uh, Tamara is saying, saying that Americans don't play polo is so ignorant. Ralph Lauren is American and his fragrance polo has been sold for years worldwide. Nacho is the ambassador for that fragrance. And we're so thankful that he is the ambassador. Ooh. Uh, but yes, I mean, you know, Someone felt they were saying something so smart and smug and everything else, and they got, ooh, they were dragged from here to there. Mm -hmm. um, so Wendy's saying Commonwealth nations are being ignored, as usual. I'm putting that in. The UK government is spending 25 million for the Invitkis, or 25 million pounds for the Invitkis games why continue to stay all should be come republic nations and they might which is something he you know that might be why chuck chuck is trying to go to stave off the inevitable but um they need to govern themselves and be happy and do what they do um if especially if it's not benefiting them in any way you know if something happens natural disaster and you just send thoughts and prayers okay that's enough Whew. all right um <laughs> let's see does william working from home is code for bullion is in rehab because of all that's right can you imagine when they had nerve to just say that harry went to one although harry did not go he went into a center but not for a like as a patient. Uh, but yeah, the tabloids turn that all around. But anyway, mm -hmm. it's amazing how that all works, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me. Oh, I'm down at the bottom. Okay, let me look at this last one, then I'm going to start closing out because I'm well over an hour. Um, Tear says, Gwendolyn, with those others, Harry was trying to figure out life and himself when he met sweet Megan. He was ready for love years. Mm -hmm. Them others just, yeah. Mm -hmm. The eye was like, not, not, not going to happen. <sighs> um, Elaine is saying, why did BBC buy Suits episodes? Is this to hurt Meg? How would it hurt Meg? If you put it on in the middle of the night, somebody could record it and watch it during the day. I don't know how it would hurt her, but I don't really care what their reasoning for it. If royalty checks are rolling and really it's, that's all that matters. The, the whole, the whole and, and she wasn't the only person on the cast. So, you know, again, whom, Rep the person that represents or the firm that represents Megan, you know, not even the BBC wants to mess with that firm because many would be unemployed and looking for for um, monies and jobs and all that, unlike, you know, RP, who's a Rhoda. <laughs> Woo, Stevie says... Every time VS breathes out for patients, I feel VS, they are just a mess. They really are. They really are. And it's things that I really could say would get my channel shut down, so I'm not going to do that, but okay. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Um, hopefully you all have hit the thumbs up. 
or the thumbs down. Either way, it's engaging, but I hope you hit the thumbs up. Have shared out if you're able to share me out. Spread the word about VS Speaks Royally. I'm still working towards the 10K. Um, yes. Again, welcome to Thelma um, channel membership. Thank you to those that have dropped some love on me. And as I had said before, that I hope it returns to you a thousand times over. I am going to bring up the last comment of the day. Say it loud for the rats in the overflow section. We are Sussex blessed. Thank you, Diane. Thank you to all of you. Love you all. Please take care of yourselves. Um, yeah, we'll be talking again. I'm sure I'll see you around the respective halls of YouTube that I know you in. And um, speak with you again on Thursday. All righty then. All righty then. Let me get to it.